Hi everyone, this is David Lopez recording the 1 to 2 demo option on the Classroom Commander application. This allows you to connect one teacher device to two student devices using Classroom Commander and wireless display. Uh, right now this also assumes that you've received your ScreenBeam 960 with the firmware update that allows you to utilize the Classroom Commander features. If you have not received this, please contact your ScreenBeam representative and request the information that you need or you can go to ScreenBeam.com and do request a demo there for that to get started. Uh, this is the Windows Store where you will need to download the application from Windows 10 Windows Store and you'll see you'd need to download it uh, on the student device, the Classroom Commander Student Edition here in black and the Classroom Commander Teacher Edition onto the teacher device here in orange. Once you have that installed, you will be able to launch it on the teacher device first, which is what we'll be showing next. After you've installed the application for the Windows Store, go ahead and select the icon for ScreenBeam Classroom Commander Teacher, and it will launch the application and first ask you for the teacher device name. In this case, I'm going to call it Mr. Lopez and go ahead and select connect. You will notice in just a moment it will bring up the normal protocol for connecting to wireless display within Windows 10. In this case ours is named Action Tech 3911. When you do select this the first time it will require you to enter a pin and that pin will appear on the screen where you have the screen beam connected to. So whether it be a projector or another display, enter that pin and then it will start the connect process for the first time. After that it will just remember the profile on your device unless that profile is deleted at some point from here on forward. Once you have connected you will notice that there is a checkbox for allowing mouse, keyboard touch, and pen input from this device. If you are using a touch screen connected to the screen beam, go ahead and select that checkbox to allow that connection to take place. Now you are fully connected, you should be fully connected to the uh, display, but on the display that you have the screen beam connected to, it should say ready to present and then connected to the display and have the name that you chose to select it. In this case, mine says ready to present, connected to the display is Mr. Lopez. You'll notice that there are no students online and that is the process we're going to go through next in just a minute. But before we do that, we're going to run through all the teacher options that you have available on the left-hand side. So this will give a good rundown. On the left-hand side uh, are all the buttons that relate particularly to the teacher. And up here on the top, when we refer to the top buttons, these are the buttons up here that relate specifically to the students. So for monitoring, that does just what it sounds like. When you click on a student device, it allows you to monitor that student device by blowing up the thumbnail. The class list allows you to see the class list in the roster. And Beam allows you to begin your screen sharing session. So you'll notice again on your display at this point it does say ready to present. But when you select Beam, it will turn green and lets you know that your mirroring session has started. So now my screen is, is completely mirrored with the display that is connected to the screen beam. If I want to go back into that stasis mode where there's still connection but I'm not displaying my screen, I simply select the beam button once again and allows me to go back to more of a private mode. On the bottom, it says it shows disconnect. This will immediately disconnect your device along with everyone else that is connected to that session. And then the setting, but setting buttons have uh, additional settings that you can look through uh, at a later date. To go back home, you click on the home button. Now we'll show in just a moment how to connect the student devices and what that looks like on the teacher screen. So right now I'm in monitor mode viewing the student screen from the teacher device and this will allow me to record the options that I want to be able to do while still utilizing the application. You'll notice that I've launched Classroom Commander and I've already entered the student name, in this case named Trisha, and I've connected the same way by bringing up 
again the Windows Connect option and you'll see that I've selected allow keyboard and touch and, and pen input and I'm all set up and ready to go and again this is for demo purposes only so I do have the ability to disconnect right now as a student uh, but in the full version the students will not have the ability to disconnect as readily as is available here I can go ahead and select minimize to close that window and I am completely connected to the teacher device and the way that the teacher knows this is when I go back to my home screen I will see the students that are connected so now I see students connected and I can see that there are two students connected one's named Benson one's named Tricia and you can see it is actually fairly close to real-time views of thumbnails so in this case I'm moving the 3d builder window uh, on the student device and you can see that that is refreshing there and if I want to take a closer look as I mentioned earlier I can select the student device and you can see that it turns orange and I can select monitor and now that student device appears and again as I move the student device you can see it's uh, pretty close again to real-time motion and movement from the teacher in the monitor position if I wanted to monitor the next student I can go up here to the student buttons on the top and select next student and again cycle through I also have the ability to take a screenshot of that student's screen and it saves it to my pictures along with the timestamp I also have the ability to play through the screens so it allowed me to do the settings to show uh, kind of like a security video as it goes through each of the screens that are available in a set amount of time and I can change that timing here on auto cycle button so it tells me how many times how long it's going to spend on each student screen there If I want to stop that I just hit stop and I can go back to my home screen and again the home screen allows me to monitor that so now for the next student if I want to be able to show a student screen this is where we're going to utilize again the student buttons that we mentioned here at the top of the screen I can select the student screen and the first one I'll show which is the most useful is the beam button so it says here beam selected student screen and when I select that it automatically will even if I'm taking over the session it automatically will start the screen beam session the Miracast session with that student so now this student here has taken over the classroom display whatever display is connected to the screen beam and they can do their full Miracast session 1080p video 5.1 audio is fully connected to that screen and again as the teacher I can still monitor from here or of course the screen will be showing in the front of the room if I want to select another student I will just select that student and immediately select again beam selected student screen and it will immediately switch from that student to the next so now Trisha has taken over and she is doing her session uh, for the rest of the class the other buttons that you have available are silence which will allow you to silence all the screens so if I click and drag and select the silence button it will blank all the screens and lock the keyboard and mouse for all the students I also have the ability to do things like unlock the screens which is important I can also by selecting one student screens or multiple student screens I can also do things like open a website start a program shut down the devices or even just disconnect them from the screen beam session altogether the last option that you'll see up here again very simple and easy is a chat window and I can select start a chat with selected students I can do one student or in this case I can do a group of students and I can type a message to them and say good job with your presentations and hit send and you'll see on the student screens in just a second it will pop up as a highlight it won't take over their screen but it will show that there's a chat and you can see on Trisha's window there that she selected that and can answer back say and say thanks and you can see that appears and that is a really good basic overview of screen beam classroom commander demo just to get you started for the one to two demo again we're talking about just the limit of this demo is one teacher device to two student devices if you have any questions again talk to your screen beam representative and we'd be happy to help Thanks for your time and have a great day.